Hello, as you know, my name is Kainton the Genius, and welcome to this series. I just made this series at uh, this point. This is Python in 10 days. This is the way I want to create, I want to help as many as possible become Python programmers because Python is really very, very easy. You actually don't need to pay anything to learn Python. Today we are going to be starting with day one, which will cover about 20 minutes to day 10, which is also about 20 minutes. So I want you to follow along. Every two days we'll have a lesson. The other way to do it is for you to be consistent. Just subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below this video so that you get notified when the new day comes or when a new lesson is made. And if you already subscribed, that is fine. Like this video and also share it around to everyone uh, in your friends list if that would be okay. In day one, we are going to be talking about setting up all the tools we need, PyCharm, Anaconda, and PyTorFlow. In day two, we are going to be writing our first program. This is not a Hello World program, but a real program that will be useful. And we are going to be talking about basic, basic syntax in Python. In fact, let's just stop here and get into the classroom, and then let's see how the course outline looks like. And then we we'll continue from there. I'd like to thank you for being there. I'd like to recommend you don't give up. Be consistent because at some point it may be a bit difficult and in that case I'm here for you. Let me know by leaving me a comment and getting to me personally. I'm going to give you the assistance you need to get the skills and knowledge you need of Python. So let's get into the classroom and look at the outline. So the objective as I mentioned is for us to be smart, to learn smart. If you, are, if you learn smart, you'll be able to cover something that people say every other person takes 10 hours to learn, you learn it in one hour. Or something they take one month or three months to learn, you learn it in one week. So I'm going to show you the necessary ingredients, just the particular things you need to learn for you to be good in, good in Python. And as I mentioned, this is to prepare you for data science in 10 days. So if you want to focus on or if your, 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 your direction is going towards data science and machine learning, then you don't need to learn all the Python. You need to learn only the relevant ones. And that is what I'm going to give you in these 10 days. Now, let me open Google Chrome. Let me just uh, show you the course outline, what we are going to be following. Um, sorry. Don't know why Cortana behaves this way. So let me use Cortana to open Google Chrome. Sometimes I just do it as, as, as fun. Please open Google Chrome. So that's how I normally do sometimes. I, I, I give a voice. Alright, starting Google Chrome. And it works. So you are going to go to this website. There's my website, kindtonthegenius.com slash Python. Now you are going to see the course outline, the, 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 the full course outline. And you are going to see the course outline or the course content for Python in 10 days. So just go to kindtonthegenius.com. If you also look in the description box below this video, you'll see the link to this place I'm going at this point. kindtonthegenius.com slash python. So if you go here, you'll see the real, the full course outline, like I said, the complete course outline that I've actually uh, done before now. I actually um, taught Python before now and able to train a, a number of people, but I think that is a waste of time. If what you want to do is data science, you actually don't need to go through all this. Um, uh, yeah, so there are about 23 models plus a whole lot of things, but don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. Just go to Python in 10 days. That is where you should go. Python in 10 days, make no mistake about it. Now, if you go to Python in 10 days, at this point, we are in just day two. So in day one, we are setting up, we are setting up Anaconda, we are setting up PyCharm, we are setting up uh, Jupyter Notebook, TensorFlow, Keras. That is day one. Now in day, now day one, you have the introduction and uh, setup that takes you to the full outline in case you want to see the procedure all the step by step. But the video is right here. I don't know why it's not linking. I'm going to correct it after now. The video is right here for you to follow. All right. So for day two, we have a head start. We have write a few programs. We try to do some interesting things like plotting the hard curve. That is in day, uh, day two. And also what I'm going to let, let you know is these videos are not monetized. Mon what it means is there are no ads on this video. So if you go to this video, it simply starts playing. So if I go to this video at this point, this is day two, uh, Python in 10 days. So let's see. If I go to this video, you see it starts playing uh, at that point. So let's see. 
So this day, day, day two of Python in 10 days. So it's ready. So I'm going to stop it. So there are no ads running on this video, meaning that you can watch this, uh, follow these lessons undistracted. And I also want to recommend this a practical lesson. Keep your system ready and follow it step by step. Day one has to do with setting up everything we need. We do it in day one. So make sure you complete day one, move on to day two. Now, if you go to day three, we are actually doing conditional statements, operators, if statement, elif statement, nested if statement. But one thing I want to show you about Python in 10 days is that at the end of many of these uh, days, there are projects that we are going to be doing. These projects are actually the key thing because if you are working on programming or you are learning programming, you are not doing any project at all, then you are actually wasting your time. That is why I've made up some projects that we are going to be doing at the end of some of the days. As day four, we are talking about loops. Uh, the, the three is conditional operators. Day four, we are talking about loops. Day five now comes an interesting one. Maths made easy. Everybody is running away from mathematics, but here I'm going to get people run towards mathematics because it's really very, very easy with Python. Uh, simply because you've not gotten anybody to put you through to help you see how easy it is you are going to see that it is really very easy in fact it's actually interesting something something very interesting working with my, uh, python in math that's why i call it math made easy i also call it simple math now this day is not ready but know that this is the across line for this day then we also have the seat you are going to be creating a game that is a project uh simple guessing game i put it here we are going to be doing it and we're also going to be doing another project we are going to be taking a sentence uh input by the user we are going to break down this sentence and return something called a bag of words bag of words is when you take a sentence and break down it into words and return those words as a list of words in the sentence that is called bag of words and we are going to be working about three important things in programming. In fact, in data science, this is the first step to data science, learning about collections, that is lists, tuples, and dictionaries. They also cite as well. The reason is because in data science, you're most of the time going to be working with a data site. So your first test of data site is lists, tuples, and dictionaries. We are going to pay some attention to this part in day seven. In the eight, we are going to be talking about how to manipulate date and time. Uh, working with date and time is very, very important in programming generally. So we need to do it, how to extract day, month, year from date, how to get a weekday, how to get hours, minutes, seconds, microseconds from time uh, object. Without talking about functions, of course, you know functions are part of programming as well. How do you create a block of code? and be able to reuse it in different programs let's say you create a program to give you the average right and you want to use get average of numbers in different other programs you write you can put this program package it into a function and you're able to reuse it as a function you can import it as a module you have you know about the import statement i use it in day one or day two i can't remember so that is about functions we are going to be looking at it in day 10. another important day the last day you are not going to want to miss is working with files in python now some people try to learn database management system they are trying to be talking about uh, sql they are trying to they are talking about h2 database in memory database file database uh, postgresql and so on there are a whole lot of databases out there this is your first your taste your first taste of databases or file systems we are going to be using python to be writing to file do some um to calculation or whatever we write you write to file save people's name in the file update this file it may be excel files if you want it may be text files whatever file we are going to write into file we are going to be reading data from the file using python that we are going to be doing in the last day and then some additional modules maybe i'm going to take you through it they are not too uh, super important if your direction is data science they are about error handling we are talking about map filter and reduce a bit important so i'm going to talk about it after now and then we are going to be talking about object oriented programming sending mail these additional modules uh, as way forward or next step after python in 10 days that is going to take us as a bridge into data science in 10 days 
So I'd like to recommend, uh, take some time to go through this, bookmark this page because uh, after every two or three days, we have an update uh, of each of the of the days. Now we have only day one and two. After now, we are going to be having day three, day four, and so on and so forth. So be smart about it. We are going to be taking only the relevant thing. You don't need to pay anybody to learn Python. I'm here for you. If you have challenges following this, leave me a comment below. Request for my number. Request for Skype with me. I'm going to put you through. Do a screen a screen. Um, share with you and try to help you out solve the problem you may be having so i'm going to be stopping here and now we are going to be getting ready for day one so actually i'm recording this after i've made day two so actually uh, uh this is something i i i did so i'd like to thank you for viewing bookmark the page and uh, like the video share it around in your social network profile well, let's help as many as possible to become python programmers in preparation for data science uh, data science and machine learning course and this has also been simplified for non-programmers and beginners i remain kind the genius and i'm always there to help you